morning children welcome to sunday school shall we pray father we thank you for keeping us throughout the week bless us as we listen to your word bless our teachers bless our parents make us to be doers of your word and we praise you forevermore for we pray in jesus name amen The title of our lesson today is The Very Best Shepherd. Our friend is going to recite the memory verse. John chapter 10 verse 27 My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. God bless you. That was good recitation our bible text is taken from john 10 verses 11 to 15 and psalms 23 we'll read the selected verses from john 10 verse 11 and verse 14 let's read from our bible verse 11 i am the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. 14. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. Let's put our Bibles on this side. Children, let's look at those two pictures. Picture number one. The parent is taking care of a poorly child. Picture number two. Yes, it's the shepherd and the sheep. So many sheep. The shepherd is taking good care of his sheep. Do you know what a shepherd is? What does the shepherd do? Our Bible lesson today tells us that a shepherd is someone who takes care of sheep. A good shepherd loves his sheep. He makes sure that they do not wander away. And if they do, the good shepherd will go and look for them. He protects them. He doesn't want anything to harm them. Those big animals like wolves and lions, if they attack, if they want to attack the sheep, the good shepherd would rather risk his life to protect the sheep. 
he cares for them so much. During the rainy time, the sunny times, he makes sure that they are comfortable. When it is time to graze, he leads them to green pastures where there is green tall grass. When they are thirsty, he leads them to those dim waters and makes sure that they drink as much as they are satisfied. Oh, a good shepherd really cares for his sheep. And they know his voice. And he knows the names of all his sheep. When they are lost, a good shepherd will go out to find them. At times, he will shout their names and the sheep will recognize that it is the shepherd and they will come that way. He doesn't want any one of them to be lost. He makes sure that he counts, that they are all present at the end of the day. He protects them. He cares for them. He loves them so much. He keeps them safe. But today, we are learning about the very best shepherd who is more than what we saw from picture number one and picture number two. The very best shepherd is Jesus. Jesus cares for us so much. He takes care of every need. When we are sick, the very best shepherd, Jesus, we pray to him. He comes in and heals us. When we wander away from him, oh, the very best shepherd Jesus, he died for our sins. Those naughty sins will make us wander away, stealing, disobeying our parents, saying those bad words. When we ask Jesus to come into our hearts because he has already died for us. He has already died in the cross of Calvary. He will hear our prayer and save us from all those naughty, naughty things. What a wonderful savior Jesus is. Jesus protects us in all ways we don't need to be frightened when we feel afraid we need to just call upon jesus jesus come come and protect me immediately by faith he will come in and everything will be okay oh what a good shepherd he is And if we go all the way, trusting him, because he is always around us at night, during the day, wherever you are, Jesus is with you. And you, if you keep on trusting him, the very best shepherd, at the end of this life, he will take us to heaven. We will be with him forever and ever. How wonderful is that? Our key statement is, The Lord is my shepherd. Let's say it. The Lord is my shepherd. For ages 2 to 5, the activity is displayed. 
for ages six to eight. The activity is as shown. Our next week's lesson is as displayed. That is the end of our lesson. Bye. <laughs>
We want to make sure that we understand it in terms of prayer because this is where most of the time we give up when we're trying to pray to God to get something, to be blessed or for God to answer our prayer. These are some phrases that we can remember that will help us in relation to the lesson. P, we need to persevere in prayer. That means we don't give up. We keep praying until we get the answer. Um, R, we can reveal the problem to God always. Don't always think about someone or a human being. Always tell God your problems first. And then listen because A, accept help and direction. God can lead you to someone. He can direct you to someone. But you must accept help and direction or he may have the word of God to answer that prayer by leading you to a verse. But whatever it is, we must accept help. Why is yielding self? If it's all about the way we want the answer to be, we might not be able to get the right answer from God. So we need to yield ourselves to him. That means we take ourselves out of the picture and allow God to take control. E, this is the one I really like. We really need to put effort. Sometimes prayer can be hard work, but we don't give up because we know there's going to be a blessing in the end. And finally, if we can do all this, we will get a result. We will receive the blessing that we've been praying for. So it's our question time. What does it really mean to persevere? What does that mean? Well, the answer is you keep going in spite of any obstacles or difficulties that may want to stop you from getting what you desire. And as far as what you desire is God's will, if you keep on believing, keep on trusting without giving up, you will surely get what you have asked God for. Right, so our statement for the week is, with Jesus, I can stick with it all the way. You know, with Jesus on our side, we're not going to be discouraged. God will help us to stick with it. So the conclusion of the lesson is, look, just as the woman in our lesson persevered and stuck through her difficulties and was able to get her healing from Jesus, we also want to make sure we never give up until we get what God wants to give us. And sometimes it may not only be spiritual things. It might be your homework. It might be a subject that's hard in school. Or you might be doing some sports and you want to give up and it's a long distance race. Don't give up. Persevere to the end. Or it might be that you've been given a task or a project to do and it's taken a lot of your time and you're discouraged. Don't give up. It might be you're looking for your Christian experiences and you're saved and you're not yet sanctified. Don't give up. Keep on believing. God will answer your prayer. For our activity this week, we're going to find the verse that is missing in this whole thing. You're going to use the code. Each code has a number and letter. So use that and find out this wonderful verse is a verse that makes us remember to keep persisting and not give up. So we've come to the end of our lesson and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you will keep on persevering and not giving up. Next week, we have another wonderful lesson. This time it's lesson 76, a message in the night. And the hero for next week is Ananias. It's a really interesting lesson. Make sure you pay attention to make sure you study it for next week. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the primary power lesson and the answer lesson. Just make this word help us to be good Christians and so that we can make heaven at last because that's most important. Thank you, Lord. In thank you, boys and girls, for joining today's Sunday School. We hope and pray you enjoyed. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you.